Welcome to the introduction of the Wall ID Verify API, which helps you to extend any app with credential verification capabilities. What do you get with the Verify API? You can create credential requests that the user can fulfill using OID for VP. To configure your verification and to check the credentials validity, you can use different verification policies we provide. But now let's jump into a demo and see everything in action. Make sure to check out the setup guide linked below to get the Verifier API up and running on your machine. I now have it here. And here we see an overview of all the endpoints you get. The most important ones for us are the Verify to create the OADC presentation session, which we then can send to a user who can fulfill it. And the session with the ID where we get the information about the session once it has been fulfilled by the user to check if they actually had the credential requested from them. And to configure everything, we have the policies, which are a list of different policies for most common use cases to adjust the verification to your needs. Okay, let's now request a credential from a user. I have here the wallet and in my wallet, I have a university degree the credential. And what I will do, I will copy out this type and go back here to the verifier API. And in the request credentials in the body, I will provide my credential. Okay, but now let's first understand a little bit more about these configurations here. So response mode, you don't need to worry about. Authorization base URL, you can also leave as is. It's just optional because you modify it. If you, for example, know already who the wallet will be, who will do the, the fulfillment of the verification request. But for us, we can also leave as is. You can also read more about it in, in our documentation. Then we have success and redirect URIs, which are optional, but are really helpful because you can then provide a simple URL, which is then called on a success or error of the verification request. And here you can provide this dollar sign ID, which is the ID we, we then need to check the validity of the session. So if it was really successful or what failed if something failed. And here you are super flexible. So you could also provide it as an argument, let's say here, and then just provide that. Okay, so now we have that. Here we just now have a super simple request credentials with a type. So a W3C credential type we want to request from the user. We could go further and modify this request because now what will happen, there's just one verification policy that will be applied and that's the signature policy. So the wallet who will fulfill this request will create a verifiable presentation that includes the verifiable credential and this schema or the signature policy which will be applied is applied to the verifiable presentation as well as the verifiable credential but we could also modify that because at the end what happens is when you execute this command in the background there will be a presentation definition generated which can be interpreted by the wallet to know, okay, what credential do I need to actually present now? And we could modify this to the extreme, which is that we provide the presentation definition ourselves, or we just modify what verification policies are applied once it was presented by the wallet. So here, we have the simple VP policies. These are the policies that are applied to the verifiable presentation. And here we see we have a policy with the name minimum credentials, which takes an argument. These are like the more complex policies because we also have simple ones, which you can just provide as a string. So if I want to apply the signature policy, although it's already always applied by default, we can just go here and provide it as such. That's the VP level, but we also have the VC level. So here next to the VP policies, which is a list of policies, we also have the VC policies, which is a list of, 
And these are applied to all credentials requested. So here we have an open batch credential and a verifiable ID. So the signature policy will be applied to both of them. But if we want now, for example, to only apply it to the open batch credential, we could use this one where we have the verifiable ID, which all these policies are applied to. And then we have the credential, the open batch credential, where we provide in itself policies that should be applied only to this credential. Okay, so now we have seen all the different flavors we could use policies. One last interesting fact is that you have really great flexibility if you use our webhook policy because here you just provide an endpoint and the verifier API will send the whole credential that is presented with the verifiable presentation as well to this endpoint and then you can do any checks you want and return a response if it's a, if it was valid or not and that will be then included in the general response of the verification. Okay, so now let's go back to our first example. Here, we now remove that and also this and just request our university degree differential, which I have in my wallet. And now go ahead and execute that. So we, in the background, the presentation definition was generated. And what we now get back is this OpenID credential offer URL, which we can, again, also render as a QR code. So a user can scan it with their phone and their wallet to fulfill the request. We could provide it as a link. So when the user clicks on it, it opens her wallet. Or we can just take this thing, the whole URL, and go to our wallet and here enter it. And now we see that the presentation definition let the wallet know, okay, I need to present the university degree de de credential. So I say, okay, I accept that and present this credential. And now as it will be successful, we will be redirected to our success URL. And here we have now this, this ID. And this ID we can use to now check on our side if the presentation was successful. And here we now have the whole result of the verification where we see the VP token and we see also here the policy results. So for example, verifiable presentation, what policies were applied, the signature policy, and that was successful as we see here. And also on a credential level, the university degree credential, here was also the signature policy applied and it was also successful. And with that, you have seen how you can do a verification with just one click. To learn more about all the different customization options, click the link in the description to go directly to the docs and explore them in more detail. With that, it's your turn Get started verifying credentials for free with the Vault ID Verify API. Click the link in the description to get started. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And with that, happy building. See you next time.